welcome to Miss Enjoy Spiritual Life Advice Channel. I'm Miss Enjoy, and I'm here to do your love and soulmate connection reading for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 1st through the 15th. Um, I, this reading is not intended for singles. My readings are gender fluid and apply to same-sex couples as well. Simply choose the masculine or feminine energy that best applies to you. I do not read reversals. I use many decks as clarifiers. I do not give outcomes when dealing with love because everyone should use free will to make decisions in matters of the heart. I'm simply here to enlighten and advise. I do not tell you what zodiac signs you may or may not be dealing with. Because you may not know all the planetary placements within you or your partner's natal zodiac charts. Um, if I do not resonate with you, please do not click the thumbs down button. Please feel free to seek another reader. There are lots of wonderful readers and light workers out here who may have the message that is intended for you. If I do resonate with you, please take the time to hit like and subscribe. It will be greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so, so very much. All right, let's go ahead and get into your reading. I'm going to pull one Lisa Frank Major Icona card. To, deter to, to determine the overall energy of the relationship. And then I'm going to get into the masculine energy and into the feminine energy. Excuse me. Okay. We're going to ask spirits of the ancestors, gods and goddesses, guardian angels and watchers to please be here to deliver a positive message. For my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. For September 1st through the 15th. Please spirit. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we're going to ask Spirit for one major arcana card for the overall energy of the relationship. All right, the star card. Star card talks about hopes, dreams, wish fulfillment, what we hope and, and are working on happening. It also has an air of healing to it when I look at other depictions of the star card um, because it'll have a woman where she's got one one foot on on in the water, one on land, and then she's like nurturing both. It's like she's pouring water into onto the land and into the water. So it's kind of like a healing or, or nurturing type of card as well. So let's see how that relates to your reading. Excuse me. All right. We're going to go ahead and get into the masculine energy. We're going to ask spirit for positive and accurate insight. Well, I'll be glad to. I'm not. Not right now. Okay. <laughs> It fell over the edge and down behind my whole, yeah. Okay. Fresh deck. Same kind. We have a way of moving forward. All right. All right, Spirit. We're going to have positive and accurate insight into the masculine energy, please, Spirit. Positive and accurate insight into the masculine energy, please, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Spirit. What is masculine feeling, thinking, and doing? Okay. What is masculine feeling, thinking, and doing, please, Spirit? All righty. Okay. Oh, no, that's too many. That was too many. Let's go back in. Okay, Spirit. What is masculine feeling, thinking, and doing? Two more cards, please. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, and we got the star card again. All right, let's pull for the feminine energy. All right, Spirit, we have positive and accurate insight into the feminine energy. For my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For September 1st through the 15th, please, Spirit. Alright, Spirit. What is feminine feeling, thinking, and doing, please, Spirit? 
What is feminine feeling, thinking, and doing, please, spirit? Trying to give me so many. What is feminine feeling? Thank you, spirit. Thank you. getting anywhere like this oh, okay all right all right if if nobody's if nobody's gonna communicate with each other everybody's just sitting around waiting on somebody else to make a move what the hell what the hell we're gonna clarify we're gonna clarify I mean I, I can't this is you're wishing, okay? You're wishing, and and that's not helping anybody. You have to act on it. You can't just wish for it. And then feminine's down here, and and she's just watching and and waiting on it. It's it's it with with the. Page of Swords. Why, people? Page of Swords, High Priestess, Eight of Cups. Man! <laughs> what you... Okay. Feminine, he's scared to talk to you. You're going to have to say something to this man. Lord, just... Mm. I can't see that's how I feel. I can't. That means that me okay, okay, all right. Oh, so you're not sure? Okay, 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 okay. I got you. I got you. So, you're not both. Well, you kind of are. <clears throat> but feminine, I know, oh my goodness. And this is a soulmate connection reading. You know what? I don't like. You left this behind already, feminine. You walked away from this with the Eight of Cups here. Page of Swords, High Priestess, Eight of Cups. And he wants you back. He's still thinking about you. He still wants you. He's still promising he's going to leave the wife and he's lying. The karmic or whoever. The Emperor's card wait the four of wands and the two of swords right he's married so you cut the situation off like i said that's just the storyline's been reading i don't know who views me i don't know which one of my my viewers but it's it's it's, it's somebody out there all right with the page of staffs and the knight of wands right you're just watching you don't and you know you deserve better. He's coming in in the Knight of, the Knight of Staffs energy. Right, with the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, you wish something. Yes, you do wish it could be different. You do wish y'all could work something out. Don't do it. Right. Five of Wands. Conflict. Battle. Struggle. Pain. Lonely Christmases. Lonely New Years. Lonely. Page of Wands. And it, what does it look? It looks like a penis. I'm sorry. The wand in the depiction of this page of wands, it looks like a penis. I mean, I don't know how close I can get to where it looks like a penis. It did, you don't. Mm -mm. 
Don't do it, feminine. Just stay, stay grounded, all right, Capricorn? Y'all are the earth, y'all are earth sign. I need you to stay grounded. I need you to stay. I know that you wish. I know. And I know that nobody makes him feel the way that you he make you makes you feel the Ten of Pentacles. Right. You just need to stay the course and you'll find happiness, okay? You will find what you're looking for, feminine. Just but this is not it. If this person is married, <clears throat> this is not it. You need to do the right thing. At the very least, until he can come and show you some divorce papers. Alright? Do not, do not take this Knight of Cups offering it, it comes trolloping in here in the and in, in, in the King of Wands energy and then in the King of Swords energy. This is just not good. It's just nothing good up there. And you've already walked away from this. It's been in your dailies. So you've already walked away from this and you've already moved on. And yeah, it's still in your energy, still in your head. But you need to keep moving forward, feminine. Because this is, you know, it's a marriage. He's married. And not to you. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'm going to pull. I'm going to clear this hot mess. Okay. You will be happy. You will find happiness again, feminine. There's more than one soulmate out there, okay? That one is contracted, all right? That one is taken, okay? And just like you have more than one soulmate out there, that's a soulmate he got at home, too. All right, once upon a time, he looked into your eye, her eyes and told her the same shit he's telling you. I'm just saying. I guess that's one of my things. I need to add that to my possible t-shirts list. Because so far I have, what are you feeling, thinking, and doing? And three versions of that shirt with masculine and feminine. And then, um... I guess I'm just saying will be the next one because I do say that quite a bit. All right, let's pull a dark goddess card. All right, let's pull a dark goddess card and see what the dark goddesses have to say. My readings are going really short. They've been very cut and dry. I've up. I I've had I had a major major upgrade recently and um still going through it actually because my body's having some physical effects and i've been changing a lot of things i've changed my eating habits and um just my habits okay all right experience Everyone dark goddess card. So I'm still going through a great deal of upgrades trying to get through it. Drinking a lot of water. Secrecy, right? Nimitana. Nimitana. Secrecy. All right. Okay. Unfortunately, working so hard to control your emotions does not dismiss the fact that you actually feel them. Unfortunately. Hmm. Those feelings are still inside you, sometimes even yelling at you to let them out. Looking okay does not mean you feel okay on the inside. Being a sensitive soul, you are highly tuned into the feelings of those around you. This can be overwhelming and you are often unable to differentiate between your feelings and that of others. But nevertheless, you feel deeply and intensely and try to suppress your emotions. You are not willing to reveal yourself to anyone. And sometimes you just withdrawn, you just withdraw from society like a hermit. Nematana invites you to step into her space, into her sacred space, I'm sorry, where, where you won't be challenged. For she understands that the only way to heal from situations is to talk about them. Nematona will meet you in the secluded grove within where you are safe to reveal your hidden secrets. Okay? The dark goddess advice is you need to get something off of your chest. Okay? Bottling up your emotions is not the answer. 
Talk to a therapist or a good friend that you can trust. Don't keep secrets from a partner, for the truth will come out. Someone is keeping a secret from you, all right? It is time to socialize again. You are protected, okay? All right, so don't sit around and be sad. Find a friend, get a counselor, call a, a spiritual advice, a spiritual you know, advisor. Um, like I said, rely on friends, rely on, friend, on family, get out, do something with yourself. Um, don't sit and brood in this situation. You know it's unhealthy, you know it was toxic, that it wasn't a good situation for you. Being the third party and the third party out in the situation is never good for anybody. 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 You deserve better. If nothing else, you deserve better. All right? Um, remember that there are many, many soulmates that you will run across in life. No matter how you feel about one person, know that there's another one damn near around the corner. Okay? I'm dead, dead serious. Very serious. I've had many soulmates. And just when you think you can't feel that way about anyone else, here comes another. And you feel differently, but just as great. You get what I'm saying? Um, so don't put so much stock into one person. Know that there is someone else out there that will indeed tickle your fancy and keep on tickling it properly. Okay? And under the right circumstances. Okay? All right. Um, and it doesn't mean that this person wasn't your soulmate. It doesn't mean that this person didn't love you. It just means that circumstances, you can't in this lifetime. All right? Like Erica Badu said, I'll see you next lifetime. Maybe we'll be butterflies. Maybe something will be different. Okay? But now, that person belongs. They have to finish the marital contract that they've created with the person that they are with. Okay? Now, like I said, if they show up in a couple of months with some divorce papers, A, go for yours. But otherwise, I, I would be, you know, be on the lookout for who's really your person or the next person. All right? All right, um, Capricorns. I love you. Stay strong. Stay strong. Stay strong. And um, I'll talk to you guys again for the end of September. All right? Bye-bye. A list of services provided and instructions for making appointments, payments, or donations is provided in the channel description as well as in the description of each video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. And always remember to enjoy life.